and I've got the bat. Oh. Yeah, the bat has a bad rap. Yeah, I people slow down on bats. Well, I think the thing about bats is that they're... They, because they are a little bit human-like in form, you know, they've got forward-facing eyes and sort of faces that, I mean, you know, you wouldn't want to look like a bat, but they, they're they not a million miles from a human face and the way that the body is structured, of course, they've got these extraordinarily uh, oversized hands that are webbed and that's actually their wings are, they actually um, sort of swim through the air using these giant yeah. webbed hands, it's an amazing thing. But I think the thing is, because they, they look a little bit like us and also unlike us all at the same time, it, it creeps us out. And I think there's a sort of creepiness to that, you know. So with bats, um, they get an extraordinary bad rap. People think that they, they carry disease. Actually, only 0.05% of bats carry rabies. You know, it's a tiny amount. You're more likely to get bitten by a raccoon than get rabies, quite frankly. Um, people think they're going to fly in their hair. I mean, bats' echolocation system is 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 incredibly effective. They're not going to go anywhere near your hair. <laughs> they you don't want to get caught in your hair. They don't want to get caught in your hair. They're not interested, you know. So, so and you know, they're not going to bite you. They're not going to bother you. You know, they are, and they and they are, in fact, doing an incredible job for us because bats eat insects. You know, <laughs> yeah. So they eat mosquitoes. What's not to love about that? And then the other thing is, is that they are key pollinators. A lot of people don't know, a lot of the fruit bat species are pollinators. And the one plant, so some of these, um, you know, plants are very pollinator specific, and so they can only be pollinated by one creature. So now the agave plant can only be pollinated by a bat. Now, do you know what's made out of agave? I believe it is a drink that many people enjoy. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, they, without bats there'd be no tequila. Because the agave plant wouldn't be able to get fertilised. So, you know, whether or not that's a good thing for humanity is <laughs> is up for debate, well, isn't next it? Time but we have a margarita toast to that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah.